Welcome to Windows Fixer, the place where we make your PC experience smooth and stress-free. If you're tired of random issues and glitches, you're definitely in the right place. Let's jump straight into today's video. Alright guys, today's video is kind of special because I actually covered this topic a long time ago when I was mainly using LD Player. Back then, I was facing the same exact problem. Every time I launched the emulator, it kept showing virtual machine service is enabled, and no matter how many times I restarted, it just wouldn't go away. So yeah, I made a tutorial earlier, and honestly, some people said it helped them fix it, but a lot of others still had the same problem even after following all the steps. Finally, LD Player updated their method recently and made it way easier. So today, I'm just going to explain it properly in a super simple way so you guys understand what's actually happening behind the scenes. Basically, when this message pops up, it means that your Windows has certain virtualization services running in the background, like Hyper-V, WSL2, Windows Sandbox, and Hypervisor platform. And these services kind of block or slow down your emulator's performance badly. Even if you think they're off, they're usually still active somewhere inside Windows settings. So LD Player made a small tool that automatically disables all those things in just one click. Quick heads up though, when you disable these services, some Windows features will also stop working. Stuff like Windows Hello for Face or Fingerprint Unlock, Windows Sandbox, and WSL2 will be disabled too. So if you actually use those features daily, just keep that in mind before you run the tool. And just like I told you guys in my previous video, you should definitely disable these services if you want better emulator performance. But this time, the tool comes with some extra touches too. It not only disables the basic virtualization stuff, but also fully turns off things like Hyper-V and Windows Sandbox, which were causing a lot of hidden issues for many people before. Now to actually fix it, you just need to download a small file called disable hyper -V related features.exe. Once you download it, make sure to close all your running programs first because after running the tool, you will need to restart your PC. Also, temporarily turn off any antivirus because antivirus can block the tool from making the changes. After that, just right-click the file, select Run as Administrator, and let it work. When it's finished, you'll see a message saying, Finished. Restart to apply. And once you restart, your emulator should work perfectly without any annoying virtual machine service is enabled error. And for those of you who prefer more official methods, Microsoft also offers their own tool for this. It's called Device Guard and Credential Guard Hardware Readiness Tool. It's a downloadable .exe file as well, not some complicated PowerShell script. You just download it, extract the zip file, run the executable, and it checks or changes the virtualization settings for you based on what you choose. Honestly though, if you just want to fix your emulator performance quickly, the LD Player 1 is super lightweight and does the job perfectly. Also, real quick before you mess with anything, it's a smart idea to create a restore point. Trust me, creating a restore point literally takes two minutes, and if something feels off later, you can easily roll back without any stress. Just open your start menu, search for create a restore point, open it, click create, give it a simple name like before Hyper-V off, and boom, you're protected. Think of it like saving your game before a boss fight. Always a good idea. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Hopefully this time you guys can fix it completely without getting stuck like before. If anything still feels weird or you're stuck somewhere, just drop a comment. I'm always around to help. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.